the establishment. The establishment. The Republican establishment. The establishment. The establishment is scared. 2016 is the year of the anti-establishment candidate. Take on the entire establishment. So what exactly is the establishment? It's a way of thinking, and it's people with deep roots in politics. It's the status quo, the thought leaders, the elder statesmen, the conveyors of conventional wisdom. It's the normal and expected. It's the man and the old boys club. It's the congressional elites. The Washington cartel. In other words, it's a slippery concept. People who are establishment sometimes insist they're not. I reject all these labels. Because in 2016, one thing is clear. The establishment is not cool. The ones who do take the label on probably regret it. I'm an establishment because my dad was president of the United States and my brother was president. Fine, I'll take it. Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio rode the wave of the anti-establishment Tea Party to the Senate. Cruz maintained his insurgent status by trying to shake up the Senate. And I intend to speak in opposition to Obamacare until I am no longer able to stand. And taking on the head of the party's leadership, Mitch McConnell. I cannot believe he would tell a flat-out lie. Rubio, however, has been accused of playing nice while in Washington even working on bipartisan legislation, and he has become the so-called establishment candidate, especially as he continues to get endorsements from base Republicans. Donald Trump is the obvious anti-establishment candidate, a fact he takes pride in. They are really trying to stop me. He constantly stresses he's not a politician and doesn't get money from big donors. And besides, no establishment candidate would ever talk like this on the stump. I would bomb the shit out of him. On the other side, Bernie Sanders is trying to start a political revolution. But how is Bernie Sanders considered anti-establishment when he's been on Capitol Hill for 26 years? Because, of course, he's taking on the establishment, big money donors. We're going to not allow billionaires and their super PACs to destroy American democracy. His opponent, Hillary Clinton, is positioning herself as a middle of the rotor who will continue Obama's policies. In short, the ultimate establishmentarian. You know, I get accused of being kind of moderate and center. I plead guilty. The catch-22 in being the outside anti-establishment candidate is you're essentially running to become the leader of the people who hate Washington. But if elected president, you're going to need the support from the very same system you're fighting. And once you become the man, can you really rebel against him?